Hey everyone, I'm Alfred. Welcome back to Morrowind. Specifically to Tribunal. Though. Oh, there he goes. Jackass. These limbs. Ah, taking it all. I have killed Gavis Velas and their summoned minions. May their scourge never threaten Morrowind again. I can just take all these and just start selling. This is my house now, isn't it? Yeah. This is my house, you stupid wizard. See, so if you recall last time, uh, we got into a kerfuffle with the wizard because we had killed his brother. He was, however, unable to stop us this time. Because that's the thing when you fight uh, a protagonist. You can't win once. You gotta win every time. Do you want this flame mirror robe? Okay. Well. Sorry, I've got, a, I've got a hiccup. You get your money back. Um, I'll be right back, actually. Back in. Sorry, there was another Velas wizard in the Velas Manor, eh? Whether the weedy one that you killed, and a tough wizard from what I hear. Funny old world, isn't it? It sure is, you fucky little dark elf. Alright. Hinoromari. Hinoromari. Marilyn Oak. Hey, um, here you go. Possibly. You know where we A lunatic going to pitch one. You'll find him up to the wicked war, spending his nonsense to pacify. And to the drunk stumbling out of the tavern. A suicide cult, plain and simple. Leaves are destructive, heretical, and frightening. I don't know how my brother got involved. Maybe to see them all over the city and find them. It's a god's wish. Yes, that's it. Alright. Do you have something to say, Dumbledore? I love that script in this game so... <coughs> Pardon me, everyone. I love that script so much. Hey, don't want to ask. Don't, don't, don't ask what happened to this guy. You know. Wow, really? I mean, I, I say it like it's something scary, but I, I murdered the shit out of him, basically. That's really all that happened. Not bad. Can you find this shitty dagger off of me? Oh, it's a jinkie. I remember those times. Those Halcyon days. I don't thank you for being brief. All right. I feel like so little happens in the this plaza besides the attack, but like. Oh, right, I sold the thing that I was building. Yeah, so I guess the city has, like, it's divided up into forts. And, like, the front is... the temple. And the west is God's Reach. And the south is the plaza. And then that one must be... East, that's what it is. Uh, 
The east must be the uh, the zone. Wow, and I can even still walk with my thing on, of course. Oh, well. Um, well, I'll be leaving my 30 hammers on the floor here. And these 15 hammers right next to it. I'll come back for those later, though. Don't, don't take them. Where the hell am I going? Winged water, which I believe is right here. Oh. Are you he? Take care, stranger. I'm Ido Romari. How can I help you on your journey? Leaves are simple. The Blessed Tribunal, though once full with glory, are no longer the gods they once were. Well, that's true. As with the tides and Tamriel's moons, all cosmic powers will wax and wane. That's not necessarily true. When gods die, it creates ripples throughout the land. The passing of the three will be a prelude to the end of the era, and the beginning of the next. They're not actually wrong. Funny. Because, like, yeah, the fact that the gods lose their power, and then Redfall happens... Like, the red year happens. I guess it doesn't really have anything to do with the assassination of the Emperor. But, like, that's why... That's that's part of why the Empire exists in its current state. Because there's a power vacuum created by the assassination that the Tribunal don't fill. Make yourself straight. Realizing the era will make many changes. We believe the gates of oblivion... That happened! That happens in... Well, in Oblivion, the game right after this. Uh, the Daedra will roam the land freely. Some might tell you this is a good thing, that we have descended from the Daedra and will be returned to the natural order of things, and how differently the coming age will be a time of great force. The Daedra princes are not our ancestors or our allies. They will wash over the land, destroying all that man and myrrh have built over these thousands of years. The only protection from the Scourge will be our true ancestors that have gone before us and wash over us even now. Many of our followers choose to participate in the cleansing to prepare the way for the rest of us. So sacrifice to be sure, but for the greater... Um, oh wow, a couple quests ahead. Apparently there's a bifurcation in the quest that I've... A couple bifurcations in the quest that I've done. Did anyone play Persona 3? <laughs> Because I'm, I'm very much reminded of those, uh, of the apathy syndrome sufferers with this What guy. may I do for what you, have you learned? my child? Okay. Well, I clearly haven't done it right. Here we go, the cleanse. It's a glorious ritual, friend. Our followers cleanse themselves of all the trouble, of all the burdens. They send themselves ahead to the ancestors, spreading our word, making ready for when we shall all join them in the fight against the danger forms. Speak the truth, and all shall come to you. Inoramari has told me, they perform a report. There we go. I just did it too early and trigger that dialogue for some reason. What may I do for what have you, you learned? my child? They would dare? So the tribunal has lost his power, has it? Fools would dare question Amalex's power here in her city? I'll give them a lesson in power and you shall be my agent. The fools must be reminded of the true power of the god. You sound a little uh, Dagoth-y right now, ma'am. Since the attacks in the city, much of my own power has been spent caring for my people. And the number of wounded has been astronomical, and caring for them has been taxing even to me. I must demonstrate to these people what it is to mock the will of a god. You will travel to the ruins of Bams Amshind and activate the Kargskr Beharn. What the fuck? Loosely translated, the weather witch. 
At its height, Dwemer civilization was masterful in the use of machinery. In a time of drought, Dwemer scholars were commissioned to create a machine which would bring rain to the lands. They created the car, the car Stangs Beharn. Beharn. Its existence was a little more than a myth until recently when ruins opened up beneath my city. I wish for you to activate the machine and use it to create ash storms in Mournhold. Then these heretics will know the power of Amalexia. That's correct. Storms are common on Vardenfell. They do not occur here, so far removed from the Red Mountain. Yeah, it's just geography. Now, though, they will, and these heretics will understand the power of the tribunal. Power of Amalexia. Take this and use it to activate the machine. Though you will have to divine the workings on its own. Uh, Galena Pitchland, but I believe you are up to the task. Starting to sound a little yeah. crazy there, ma'am. To be perfectly, blindingly obvious with you. So yeah, the city is set up like a compass, almost. The temple is presumably in the north. This is in the east. The plaza's in the south. And then over there would be a God's Reach in the west. And then in the middle is that one area that I was in earlier, but that's a very small area. But it's fine. It counts. Still never been down there, though. God only knows what's down here. Just the gate there. Okay. It's fine by me. With a Z, of course. You know, I'm so sorry about one of your guys who fell in this raid. Okay. So I guess now I should just make that jump down. Ooh, what a Jesus. The way that they make you stick your nose in and check it out is like kind of funny to me. Whoa. Oh, it's the arm of the statue. Cool. You know, I bet if you hack underneath to this area, to the time before the statue is broken. The arm will still be down here. Wow. The fabricants kind of ain't shit. I see two survivors to this conflict. And both of them are dwarven. Three, in fact. Four! Wow. So Sothasil is giving up his, like, godhood for this. To make fabric. And they're not even better than the stuff that the Daedra had. Daedra. That the Dwemer had, like, a thousand years ago. What cow? Dwarven shock dart. Oh, you throw them. Neato. Gimme. That's not really worth it. Okay. I love how he really winds up on that dead. He's like, oh. Ash pile. Interesting. Dormer closet. Dormer axe. Dormer boots. Dormer cash. You know I love that. That's cool. He falls into two pieces. And this guy fell on top of him, so you can't really see it. But, like, it's there. Believe me. That's 
fine. It fixed basically everything in my pockets, which is pretty great. Are these ash piles former dweller? Because that's kind of hard. To be honest with you. Well, Dwemer, what will you say? And another Dwemer tube. Yeah, like if these if these ash piles that are fucking everywhere, in fact, are just former Dwemer, that's really gnarly. I'm not entirely sure it makes sense as well, because to my knowledge, the Dwemer disappeared. They weren't, like... Oh, they have ceiling fans. That's funny. They weren't, like, burned or, like... Old work on. That's alright. I'll leave it there. Maybe it's the only thing that that ghost has to read. So this leads back to the big hall. I think I've explored everything out in, in here, but I'll double check. A little bit of the edges. Hit there. Dwemer mug. Dwemer coherer. Okay, cool. I was worried that I needed one of those because I remember seeing that on the wiki. I do, but Omalexia gave me the proper one. That one won't actually do anything. Either. Lucky me. Hour of sleep. Two dwarf clearances. These were guards. They were holding the door. Interesting. Pow. Ugh, does the top pulse? Gross. Is this the thing? I mean, I'm, I'm led to believe because it's the only thing moving in here, but that doesn't necessarily mean it's the case. Got a spear. I think I've got the best spear in the game, so I don't really need to worry about it. Worry about it too much. Did they mean to look make those look like ceiling fans? Because God damn it, if they don't look like ceiling fans, I'll eat my hat. Luckily for me, I'm not hungry, and they don't look like ceiling fans. They do look like ceiling fans. Had it back. Oh. That's raw. That guy was just working. Another old Dweemer book. Dweemer cylinder. This is cool. This is a, a side of uh, Dwarmer stuff you don't really see in the main game. His head... Do these things have unique death animations? Because I would have sworn that I had seen one that only fell in two. Like, at the waist? Sort of waist, the little ball that he rolls around on. I will say as well, um, another uh, thing to this game's credit. Uh, 
Um, hello? Dwemer robot. Okay. Time to backtrack. It was a puzzle. And I'm cheating by looking at the wiki, but I didn't know. I was confused. Anywho. Um, in Skyrim, the Dwemer constructs, I think their proper term is animunculi, Whoa. Okay, I'm glad I came back because I missed this fucking thing. That's so cool looking. Uh, in Skyrim, all of the things look like the same thing. And I think they're supposed to look like um... It's so like all the constructs, except for the spiders. So like the large centurions, the sphere centurions. Um. Hmm. The room with the broken Dwemer robot. Okay, so it's in here. Desk on the right side. Getting off topic. Oh, wow, they're building that thing's hand. That's so cool. And that's what? His shoulder? No, this is the shoulder. That's his forearm on, on that desk over there. Fuck, that's so radical. Oh, I love that. All right, on topic. On topic. Um, in Skyrim. Every single Dwemer construct or piece associated with them looks the same. And maybe I'm just misremembering, but like the Dwemer Steam Centurion, which I think this thing is supposed to be, the Dwemer Sphere Guardian, uh, the Dwemer Armor, all of those look the same. if I use this bent pro oh probes are for disarming traps huh I guess I know why when I try to use a probe on a thing it doesn't work because it's not for that interesting Anyway, I may it may be the case that um the stuff in Skyrim is all meant to look like a Kulikon slash Numidium. there's kind of a variety of it. I wonder why. I wonder what the reason is. Yeah. 
Sorry, I don't have all day. Claymore Warhammer. I looked around to try to find it. Couldn't find it. Probably my own stupid fault. But... I looked for long enough to find the key. If I could have found it, I just didn't happen to. Someone's yelling outside. I heard so loud of a thump upstairs earlier that I thought somebody had been seriously injured. Oh, wow. Money. Three. Dwarven satchel pack. Weird. Okay. Oh, that's what I need. Did they mean a satchel charge? Because that's completely different. But if that's the case, that's kind of cool. Yep. <laughs> go, go, go. Whoa, that's a big... That's cool. Master poison trap. Okay. Okay, cool. Crawl through the space. Interesting. Like, look at that. There's so much more scripting and stuff going on in here. In the DLC here. I wonder if these things have a pain chance, like, in Doom. I was recently looking at, um... Doom and its... like, scripting. Uh, I was watching Destino's videos, actually. Uh, Destino smelled like it sounds. Yeah, look, they have two different, uh, ways of falling over. Interesting. Dark shield, completely normal. Dwarf of Warhammer. And Dwarf. And a standard Dwemer sword. All right, I've seen enough. I think I'm ready to get out of this area. Anyway, Destino, who I can greatly recommend to anyone who likes Doom, well-produced content, or coding, uh, made an excellent video about well, really, most things in Doom. But he made one about a monster's pain chance, which is the chance that the chances that a monster in Doom has to get interrupted. It's like a it's like poison Dark Souls, basically. Oh, these people got burnt up in the middle of dinner. How impolite. Um, and I wonder if that's the case here. I thought I'd left pauldrons. Ah, uh, Todd thought he was being sneaky. My wife thinks it. One moment. All right, back in. Put my finger on the wrong key there. Pull my dukes up instead of trying to step. The way that the top kind of blobs and stretches is kind of silly, to be honest with you. Is this supposed to be like the the fluff? What am oh, oh, the foam from the water as it pours out of here? Because that's not what it looks like. That's fart gas, Todd. What? Skybreak Gallery. Holy shit! It's like I'm in Cerebro. Oh, there is a way to get out of here. That's nice. Oh, bro, 
I will still load my game. I kind of just wanted to jump in for the fuck of it. You're standing on nothing here, sir. I, I don't... Well, there he goes. Damn it. I think that's everyone. What a weird and evil thing to do to your people. Like... I've, I've lived in a place where sand can get everywhere. You know, I, I'm, I was born in a desert. And like, the absolute fucking nerve that somebody would have to have... Put the... Uh-huh, cool. Uh, from deep within these ruins, it'll be difficult to tell what effect it has on the city above. Whoa. So cool. Right, how do I do this? Normal Mournhold weather table. It gives you a weather forecast. It's kind of funny. Alrighty. Three levers and a pile of ash. Start worrying now. Should I activate the levers? It can't be used. Thing in there. I understand the symbols on the uh, Weather Witch. The machine is causing ash storms and Morrowind. See, oh, it's an erupting volcano. That makes sense. See, now, what I would like to have happened is... Jesus, Amalexia. Like... It would be nice if I could say, I don't want to do that, actually. But I feel like this is where Todd's starting to get ahead what of himself. What may I do for you, my child? In my wisdom, I've sent you to activate it. Tell me you've achieved this task for your goddess. Well done, Glina. This is the effect I was looking for. Ash storms and mournhold. My magic will prevent anyone from further tampering with this machine. You will, of course, keep silent about it. My powers are drained, mortal. They were not gone. My ordinaries will take care of the remains of the end of times cult and the leader. You have done well. I'm well pleased, good and faithful servant. My people look upon the elements and see their written divine testament to my lordship. Did any other god ever display such dominion over the earth and sky? Um, yes, all of them, but specifically Talos. Cyrodiil, the place where uh, Oblivion takes place, used to be a fucking rainforest and jungle. And he was like, I will change this because I love you, Red Legions. And he did that for them. With a heavy heart, I must lay a sad burden on you. I bid you, uh, I bid you bring the peace of understanding to my missing hand. One of my most faithful guards and my very own hand of Amalexia, pledged to honor and protect me, serve in all ways, has lost his mind. Silas Valor has abandoned me and spews vile and slanderous untruths about me to anyone who listen. I pity him. No, he is not responsible for his actions. To view the splendor of a god may drive even the strongest mortal mad. But now he presents a threat to us, and he is very dangerous. I fear you may not be able to spare his life. He haunts the streets and sewers of Mournhold. His wild, distracted manner frightens the people, but even my ordinators are afraid to confront so terrible a weapon master and war wizard. War wizard sounds so cool! I know it's just a synonym for battle mage, but fuck. Uh, faithful servant. Behavior is erratic. Quite unresponsive. I'm afraid I may have allowed him to come to close. It's impossible mortal and god might meet on equal ground, but perhaps he deluded himself. I regret his lamentable state. And I'm sorry I may be partly responsible for his condition. So where is he then, fam? Salas Valor. The missing hand. Oh, I talked to him, didn't I? Yeah, I think I did talk to this guy. Is 
that's funny. I went out the wrong door. And my, like, weird jump momentum was uh, kept consistent. God's reach. Man. Ash storms, huh? Crazy shit. Crazy shit. Really, these ash storms. I've heard of them on the island. But in Mornhall. Morn. Yeah. Morn. Not here in Mornhall. How can this be? Jesus. Alright, so I checked the thing. I checked the wiki for this page. It says it may be the hardest fight had to deal with so far. And I guess that makes sense considering how b -b 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 bodied I got by regular hands of Amalexia. Granted, there were five of them, and... Oh, that's me. Just never sleep. Just don't know where this guy is. Man, imagine how shitty it must be to, like... Because there were people on this island that moved here from Vacant Manor. A vacant manor, you say? Am I about to become a homeowner again? You know business here. At a second glance, perhaps I shouldn't be so dismissive. Team resources of sort, we're investing in the future. The city right now exists under a blanket of fear. Blind Guar can see the tension between the Imperials and the temple will boil over into the streets. When that happens, every Dark Elf for himself, yeah? Oh, a Stark piling for that occasion, which is inevitable. Maybe you can assist us. You know what we need? We know we can't make waves until the time is right. Our actions would be misinterpreted. We'd be treated like common criminals like the fat while those fat cats like Suskin walk in broad daylight like they were saints. Sure you've noticed him starting about as if he were Lord Rebecca himself. No one mentions the horrible things he's done to get where he is, and for what? He's another noble. Something Mournhold has no use for. But the tools he's used to step on others and get where he is today, those Mournhold has use for. I have use for them. Would you be willing to get them? Yeah. Bring me a sword and queer ass and the money is yours. You're likely to find him wasting time in the damn bar Welcome, like usual. comrade. Which Orin assures me is the right thing to do. See, I see Vacant Manor and I'm like, ooh, am I gonna buy a house? Nope. Gang of Racists. I think this is a good book. Yeah, that's a good book. Read it if you have time. It's uh, a Princess Bride esque Poison Chalice Switcheroo fiasco. You haven't happened to see my husband. He's uh, started heading out late to die and not returning to the morning if he returns at all. I don't know what to think. Morty's cheating on me. Could you find him, follow him, and let me know what he's up to? Yeah. Wingwar Tavern. Well? Right. That's the wing. Holy woman, Deldris Anduin. Is it night? It's six in the morning, in fact. It is about as far from night as you can get. Oh. Good, he didn't see you. Well, good. Uh, I guess this counts as the night. Still. I guess because it's so early. Because when I got here, it was only seven. Or six. See, one thing about Mournhold being as small as it is, is that it's so dense with side quests and stuff. I talked to a strange woman, laughed with her for a few moments. I heard laughing and sounds like they were agreeing to meet me. Perhaps I should report to her. I especially like knowing that I'm skiving off. Oh, 
Also, damn you, British literature, for poisoning my good American words with your awful, awful British words. Stabbing and skipping things, basically. Endurin Man. Which is this one. What's up, honey? I knew it. That scrim sucking cheat. Thank you for following for me, Dark Elf. I wish I could have taken care of that brazen hussy he's seeing, but no matter. I'll deal with that worthless husband of mine myself. Here's your payment. Ooh, we a secret agent now. We're a, we're a private dick. Uh, back to the winged quad, I suppose. Man, the fact that he's not only meeting people outside the winged war, but in the back of the... Bro. Oh, hey. You're a hand, aren't you? You're the guy. So, you're her new dog. <laughs> he, he greets me. Hey, you can tell he's a hand because you're of the So she sent you for me. Now you're her favorite. How convenient. Whichever of us dies, well, she'll be pleased. And if both of us dies, so much the better. I'm content. Perhaps that's his own Perhaps thou, how this is how it was meant to end. I will ask forgiveness of the gods and spirits for me be. And you too might well make your peace with your gods, because at least one of us will not live to see another surprise. You and Ma. Damn, I was hoping I'd get to the talk to him. Holy shit! What is he hitting me with? Shock damage, her dart. He's draining my strength. You fucker. Oh, I have a thing for this. Jesus Christ. And he's blinding me. Only 50%. Her Ebony Scimitar. He's absorbing my strength. Holy shit. Can I start this? Looks like a cop is attacking me, and you would think that he would have a good reason to do this. You will. Justice never sleeps. Here's a
Got any money? You have no money. Need custom armor? I'm the one you want. Yes, I'm leaving this on the floor. Just because the hit. Wow. And it doesn't restore as much as I would like. Yep. It hits me. So, you're a new dog. Wow. I might actually need to pull up the strategy section of the wiki. <laughs> Alright, I took a peek at the thing and, uh... Yeah, I have no idea. Alright, they suggested this to me, and I've never used this before, but let's give it a shot, huh? sword out of his pocket. And the sword is what's making my life hard. High sneak skill make the fight of blades by cautiously pickpocketing the scimitar. I don't know how pickpocketing works in this game. This is the first time I've done it. And it's in the DLC. Alright. I've got a new plan. I am buying a whole bunch of booze off of this guy. I have not been hit once. Where's the chart? There he is. Whoa. 
plan is not going super well. Yowza. Pardon me. I'm doing okay, though. The wiki literally says, don't trade hits with this guy. You won't win. Sword. Let me try this. Hmm, maybe this is of your reputation is better <sighs> Alright, sorry, just rechecking my options here. <laughs> My health is actually 425. And yet, I have barely made a dent in the man. goodies all wore off. Damn it. Alright, I made this save here accidentally because it's an autosave. Alright. Alright, alright, alright. So this is a known uh, bug, I guess. It's not really a bug. It kind of is supposed to happen. But Sujama is most well known for it. Said he's unfamiliar. Um, just because you get so much out of it when you do it. Just, I'm not gonna spend that brandy. Lots of awesome works. I think grief works. How does that do ya? My good sir. I don't ever fucking make questions. Selling that next chance I get. I don't buy that. Oh my god, I hit 100k. Yippee skippery. Damn. Well, that's fine with me. Oh, I'm over and covered. Why don't I just... Alright. Now we must find the man again. What if all these gar guards were instead called like her sin or something? Alright. We're at 239. Oh my god, we've almost. We've almost actually hit 600. Is there anything else that we can put on? Fifth barrier. I'm led to believe that this should work cumulatively, and that's a total of 40 points of shield. If it doesn't work twice, that's fine. <laughs> that was what it took. Her ebony scimitar. Her hand. 
resist poison, fortify attack, fortify agility, fortify heavy armor, resist paralysis, okay, her dart, medium armor, fortify more strength, huh? The Fist of Radigulf is 20 points of strength, so that's not worth it, but... I gotta admit, this is pretty fantastic. Oh my goodness. I am... I'm all over the place here. <laughs> yep. I'm listening. Uh, you will buy some of my crap. Take those from me. I mean, I'm kind of rearranging the deck chairs in the Titanic here. Hold on. Take those off my hands. Ah, hello. The Fist of Radigal left gauntlet fortifies my agility. This is the left gauntlet of this, and it fortifies my strength as well. Which means that I can now stack these gauntlets and get double the strength. Well, not double, but get two effects that buff my strength. Not to mention I look fucking crazy ridiculous. Super cool. Okay, I can leave this ebony scimitar. Just, oh my god, my jumps are crazy. Need custom armor? I'm the one you want. Okay, I can leave that here, because I'm not going to need it. Oh my god. <laughs> Alright, is there anything else I can burn here? Greetings, Dumner. What can I do for you? <laughs> this jump, though. Look at that. Yo. Oh, whoops. Look, he hit me first, guys. You all may have seen it. Holy shit. Such this. Okay, now I'm over and coming. Oh my god, what can I even drop? Oh, did I get his shield? He had a shield. kind 
of sick though. It do be looking pretty fun. Is this a museum? Yeah. Guess what's joining the party, everyone? Say goodbye. I will come back and properly Welcome give it to, to them the Mournhold Museum later. of Artifacts. Actually. Mournhold. City of light. City of magic. Gold brand. What an incredible weapon. You sure wish to part with it? I'll offer you the full 30,000. Sell it. Out. Open. Where does this thing go? I was hoping that I would be able to see it on here, right? Oh, there's an upstairs too, of course. Stendar's hammer. There we are. There's the boy. You've served me well, Goldbrand. Justice. All right, I am now under my capacity. Only with the selling of one of my strong, one of the strongest weapons. But I'm not sure if it'll matter now because holy shit, do I have some goodies on me? No one take this. I'll be back for it. Okay. Like it's fucking impenetrable armor. Like where's my heavy armor? Eighty-five. I'm pretty unstoppable. Like, that's the thing, right? I don't know if I can take this off. It might be too good. Right? Where's my, um, blunt weapon is 81. Short blade is maxed. Long blade is lower. Axe is lower. Amulexia. Many blessings upon you. Eliminated the threat of my poor missing hand. Talos Valor's dead. The pain is almost more than I can bear. <laughs> but you've served me faithfully. And it is in my mind to grant you divine blessings. Would you like skin as tough as iron? Protection against paralyzing terror? Or bask in the warm comfort of my reflected bosom? Quick now, choose. You must not keep your deity waiting. Uh, skin like iron, please. I bless you and all. Be faithful in your services and you may expect more rewards. just goes on me and it buffs all of my skills it says it's at 80 but it's grayed out like it can't go up anymore oh, welcome Galena it's time we talked of greater things I have watched you since your arrival in Vardenfell and you've been a strong and faithful servant to me none but the Nerevarian could have seeded, succeeded as you can Oh, yeah, so she talks to you about it, like, before you could find this out in the main story. But, like, the assumption of any DLC is always that you play it after the game comes out. Uh, my Nerevar returned to me at last. I have watched from my temple as others have made the claim, and I've seen them fall. I believe that you're the one. Is that you the Nerevarine? Together I have watched others come and go. You're the child of prophecy. The time has come to reclaim your station. Together we can reunite Morrowind once again, free from Imperial Yield. Okay. Here's the Chimer and Joymer been at war. Face of faith. Yada yada yada. Nerevar and I were wed. Dumac presented us with twin blades, Hope's Fire and True Flame. The blade of Nerevar in the battle beneath Red Mountain, True Flame was shattered and extinguished in the confusion the pieces lost. It is time for you, Nerevarine, to remake the blade and take your place by my side once again. I have only one which I give to you now. Through my magic, I've been able to determine that the pieces of the blade are nearby. Find the other two and forge the blade of new. Only you may accompany this. Oh, that's so cool. There it is. It's pretty tight. Alright, see. Time to 
talk. I was told that this is one of the things that you have to donate to the museum. That's reach. That's reach. Um, which is why I prepped it by dumping some of my things I didn't want there to begin with. However, this is another one of the swords that uh, I was really excited to use. I had no idea that the fur hand scimitar would be so solid. Because, like, holy shit, it makes you stronger as you can beat things. Welcome to the Mournhold Museum of Art. Uh, pieces of the blade. The pieces of the blade of an Erevar in Mournhold. There's something I'd like to get my hands on for the museum. I can't. I have one piece. It seems to be. I have one piece from the same time, and it's of Dwemer construction. I don't even have it on display because I haven't been able to identify it yet. It's a shield of Dwemer make, but not traditional in any sense of it. The pieces don't seem to match, and I've wondered if it's a fake. I suppose I might be able to part with it, but I'll need compensation. And for new pieces. Yada yada yada. Donate a couple. Um. Donate the item. Here we go. Ebony blade. Umbra sword is this. Donate it. Ugh. It's a really expensive thing to donate. And I know that there are shittier artifacts that I could donate in its stead. Oh, wow, here they go. There are shittier artifacts that I could donate in their stead, but, like, I don't really need the money. I've, like, <laughs> the amount of cash that I have just keeps going up, and it's not going to stop. Now that I'm wearing this stuff, I can literally go to anywhere. You and mostly, like, hey, fuck you. <laughs> This is raising my marksman level, right? Is it better? to the guards with a helmet on? Whoa. Well, fuck these guys, it all stems from Alexia. Anyway, I can now just take all the goodies off of his body, and then go sell it to somebody, anybody. Granted, there aren't that many shops. Uh, rumor has it the god of justice wielded this hammer. I'm inclined to believe it, as none less than a god could hope to raise the thing, let alone swing it. It took four men to lift it onto the podium for display. I want to go look at how much it weighs. Weight is a thousand. Okay, I believe it. You know? Ordinarily, I would be like, huh, oh, that sounds like bullshit, but. You know? Oh yeah, I was supposed to get something from you, wasn't I? That's why I donated those two things. Whatever you want. Within reason. You've been quite a friend of the museum, I'll give you the piece. I'm classifying it as a Dwemer battle shield. I'm not sure what to make of it. And the spike attached to the front seems to be loose, but a competent smith can take care of that for you. Good luck to you, and if you're able to reclaim the blade of Nerevar, I'd love to see it. I don't know what to call it. You should have a smith look at it. Well I know a smith. Ah, oh, crap. Do I have a Fortify Strength spell? I do not think that I do. I do. Okay. So maybe I could get a, a constant effect thing. What about you? Can you hit me? In all construction, to be sure. Let me see here. As I thought, these two pieces aren't supposed to be attached. It's a Dwemer shield with another piece attached. I mean, to pay too much for the shield, friend. It's nothing special as far as I can see. The other piece is interesting, though. Dwemer in origin, but unlike anything I've ever seen. So now we just have a normal Dwemer shield. Who cares? And a second blade piece. They met. Those are the hilt. Right. Well. Of course. Got any money? Nope. Damn you. I'm even going 
that cell to get this shit out of my inventory. Actually, this is a good place to stop anyway. Uh, since I've got to fucking play back up to where I lost progress. But, uh, I've been Alfred. This has been. I feel like we're heading towards a big confrontation. We probably are, but, uh, we're forging my old blade from back in the past, which is pretty fucking cool. I'll see you guys next time. I've been Alfred. This has been Uh, everyone have a good day. Thank you.